ARCH, the African American Resources and Cultural Heritage, is devoted to preserving and communicating the history and culture of African Americans in Frederick County, Maryland. ARCH is pleased to announce that we are actively preparing for the opening of the Heritage Center for African American History and Culture at 125 East All Saints Street in Frederick. This location is especially significant for us because it is in the heart of what was once the hub of the African American community during segregation. In addition to serving as the Arch home, the Heritage Center will house our collection of exhibits and artifacts, which convey some of the history of daily life for African Americans in Frederick County. The Heritage Center will also serve as a place for family and scholarly research. It will be a place for learning about and openly discussing issues related to African American culture, history, and experiences in Frederick County. Since Arch's inception in 2001, our presence and partnership in Frederick County have grown in many meaningful ways. We thank the community for all of its support. Arch hosts an annual banquet to celebrate our living treasures. African Americans aged 90 years and older who live in Frederick County. We pay tribute to those on whose shoulders we stand, celebrating their contributions to our community. At the Living Treasures Banquet, we thank and honor those who persevered through segregation and other injustices to improve Frederick County with their wisdom, grace, and tenacity. The banquet is an opportunity to deepen our awareness of the strength that inhabits our older generation from whom we have so much to learn. Everyone is welcome to attend. Members of ARCH visit classrooms and schools throughout Frederick County to teach various aspects of African American history. History comes alive as we present the reality of life for African Americans in Frederick County against the backdrop of national events. ARCH supports the National History Day competition by presenting an award to the best student project that focuses on local African-American history. ARCH sponsors an annual African-American Family History Fair where individuals, families, schools, churches, and other organizations present table displays of photographs, documents, and artifacts. The fair features access to a variety of resources. ARCH offers an authentic Frederick City African-American walking tour that encompasses All Saint, Court, and Bend Street. The tour highlights the businesses, institutions, and establishments that existed during the time of segregation. One unique aspect of our tour is the first-hand stories shared by the tour guides who lived in the area during this time. ARCH's tour also includes an opportunity to tour Asbury United Methodist Church, the cultural center for African Americans. ARCH sponsors and presents exhibits on African American history and culture for schools, fairs, libraries, and community events. ARCH's first locally made documentary, The Tale of the Lion, Our Stories, Our Voices, directed and produced by ARCH board member Ingrid Palmquist, premiered September 15, 2018 at the Weinberg Center for the Arts in downtown Frederick, Maryland. The film features 21 of the oldest African Americans in Frederick County who shared their stories from childhood through segregation to today. Our community came together for an unprecedented celebration of their lives and their contributions. The women and men featured in the film were welcomed to the event on a red carpet in the same theater where they were denied entry in the days of segregation. Their stories give hope and strength to all of us. It's important that we remember those folks that paid a tremendous price to get us to where we are today. Cemetery cleanups are just one way of doing that. Lots of African-American cemeteries are in need of repair. 
Some of the stones are overturned or broken, and we need to respect them in the utmost manner. So ARCH has taken on this project with volunteers from the community. It's just another way of saving this important history. The Hood College History Department is absolutely honored to partner with ARCH in an effort to bring the history of African Americans in Frederick to a broader audience. Several Hood College students are processing the archival collections held by ARCH. They are rehousing the collections in archival containers to preserve them and ensure that researchers and others have access to these collections for generations. The students who are receiving internship credit for their work are also creating finding guides. Hood College students involved in this process are making often hidden histories available to the public. In the process, they are learning about the triumphs, challenges, and perseverance of African Americans in our local community. My experiences with art started with the Maryland Room and I did a project on John Bruner. Uh, John Bruner was the supervisor of colored schools in the early 1900s. Once I got invited to David Key's house, he invited a complete stranger to his house actually. He invited me over to look at the Bruner collection and I based my uh, paper off that. Yeah, so um, no one else has these documents. Arch wasn't just for the documents. It was about the knowledge that a lot of people held. It's not just for like the African-American population of Frederick County. Um, so it's about preserving our history collectively. Actually, when I started my research for a class here at Hood, I decided to focus on African-American history and Lincoln High School. And I started in the Maryland Room, and um, I was pointed Arch's direction because they have the tangible evidence that you're looking for. All sorts of things that you can't find anywhere else in Frederick. It's only in Arch's possession. I also got to speak with people who lived through that time and that era and had that primary evidence that you can't find anywhere else. I think the other interesting piece about Arch, too, is it starts a lot of conversations. I'm a firm believer that African American history is everybody's history. Arch is, I feel like it's open to everyone. I think everybody's connected. I think white or black, it doesn't matter. It's accessible for everybody. That's what's happening today. There is this effort to reclaim this history, an important history of this community that has been lost. And um, it's important for us now to encourage and support that effort to move forward because the, the history that we've been told is only part of the story.